Thank you, up. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No hurt. Come on now. We're breathing. Come Thank on. you, Jesus. We're blessed. Praise God. Good to be in the house of God tonight. Amen. Amen. Thank you, him. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. <coughs> Praise God. Now, I won't be very long tonight, so, so y'all stay with me for just, just a few minutes. <laughs> But I've got, I've got a thought. When God gives me a thought, I, you know, there you go. we don't mind. Bless him, Jesus. Is, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it, whether it's five minutes or 25 minutes or 35 minutes. Come on, brother. Preach it. But, you know, but I always feel like when God gives me something, it's for somebody. Amen. Yes, it is. Praise God. <clears throat> Praise God. Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Amen. Let's pray. God, we love you. God, we praise you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit. God, we ask Lord, that you just go on and use us for thy glory and our hearts and ears to receive your word. We we'll praise you in Jesus' name. Praise God. You can be seated. I said, and the earth was without form and void. Kind of like our lives sometimes. Amen. Yes, sir. Darkness was fell upon the face of the deep. You know, at one time we walked in darkness. Amen. The Bible said he called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. But here's where, where I want to get to. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Amen. What I want to preach for just a little while tonight is letting the Spirit move you. Yes. Letting the Spirit move you. Amen. The Bible said the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Thank you, Jesus. When, that, when God's Spirit began to move, He began to create the heavens and the earth. He began to create man. He began to create everything around Him. Why? Because yes, the Spirit sir. of God moved. Come on. Amen. We, were, we were without form when we were void, when we walked in darkness. I'm going to tell you, it's going to take the Spirit of God moving on your life to bring you out of darkness. Amen. It's going to take the Spirit of God moving on your life to change you. Amen. It's going to take the Spirit of God moving on you to save you. Yes, sir. Praise God. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Praise God. I'm, I'm convinced tonight that we don't let the Spirit of God move in our lives enough. Bless Him, Jesus. When's the last time? When's the last time you just let the Spirit move upon you? Mighty Jesus, thank you. Just let the Spirit move upon you. Mm -hmm. There's three. There's two more examples that, that I want to want to give tonight in the Spirit of God moving. Amen. He moved upon the face of the earth when the earth was without form. Yes. The Spirit of God moved and things were created. That's right. Thomas David wrote one time, creating me a clean heart. Renew within me a right spirit. He want, what did he want? He wanted the Spirit of God to move upon him. Amen. I was said in the book of Judges 24. It said, And the woman bare a son and called his name Samson. And the child grew, and the Lord blessed him. You I know, mean, Samson was a blessed man. Yes, he was. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move on him at times in the camp of Dan between Zorah mm -hmm. and Nestor. The Spirit of the Lord began to move on him. Yes, he did. <laughs> when the Spirit of the Lord would move on Samson, he could do mighty feats. Bible said that, that the Spirit of the Lord would come on him mightily. Amen. But Samson was blessed of God. 
Bible said he was blessed of God. That's yes, he was. The Bible said the Lord. The Lord yes. blessed him. <clears throat> but he let the Spirit of God move on him. Move on him. Again, I'm asking, when, when is the last time you let the Spirit of God move on you? Just simply move. Move me. Amen. Sometimes, sometimes I have to look across the congregation and pray, Lord, move them. Amen. Somehow, the Spirit of God touched them. Yes, sir. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I, I wish God would move on some of them to give them enough conviction to be in the house of God when they ought to be. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. God, move on them. Amen. Somebody said, why, why do you say that so much? Bible said, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. That's right. As the manner of some is. Right. And so much more as you see that day approaching. And I guess it's because uh, I see that day approaching. I guess it's because I see what's coming on the world. Amen. I guess through the, you know, through because I I'm concerned for their soul. Amen. I you know, I of course, as a pastor, it's just natural. I miss them when they're not here. I don't want to miss them in heaven. Bless him, Lord Jesus. Yes, sir. Huh? So just let, let the Spirit move on you. Amen. Let the Spirit move on you. The Bible said in one place, build up your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let the Spirit move on you. I will say in 2 Peter 2 and 19, we also have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts, mm -hmm. knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scriptures of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. By the will of man. But holy men of God spake out as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, sir. Moved by the Spirit. That's right. Praise God. We need a church full, a house full of men and women and boys and girls that are willing to be moved by the Spirit. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. I believe it was John the Baptist, or maybe Jesus, asked, asked some of the Pharisees and Sadducees, how long will you resist the Holy Ghost? My, my, my. How long will you resist the Holy Ghost? Not willing to let the Spirit of God move on you. When's the last time you let the Spirit move you to worship? Amen. When's the last time you let the Spirit of God move on you to pray for somebody? When's the last time you let the Spirit of God move on you to pray in the Spirit? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When's the last time you let the Spirit of God move on you to testify? Thank you, Jesus. I, you know, I'm asking, when's the last, last time you let the Spirit move on you? Amen. I was said the Spirit of God moved on something at times. Mm -hmm. There was a while. There was a while. We need to let the Spirit of God move on us. Amen. I thought of what Revelations. Book of Revelations. A couple of times there in the book of Revelations, John will write, He carried me away in the Spirit. Amen. That's right. Oh, listen, sometimes we just need to get carried away in the Spirit. Yes, sir. I, I thought of something this morning. I, well, I didn't think of it. Something I heard this morning. I, Brother Richie probably heard the same thing. Yes, and Franklin was talking about the fire falling. He said, oh, I can remember when I was a kid, you went to church on a Sunday night expecting to see something. 
You didn't want to miss it because something was going on. You didn't know who might run into the wall. <laughs> That's right. The shout in the spirit and just take off dancing. He said, I was raised that way. He said, but do you see it now much in the church? My, my. He was talking about the fire of the Holy Ghost, not the fire of God. What was happening? Yes. Let the Spirit of God move on them. Amen. People didn't resist the move of God. They didn't resist the Holy Ghost. They didn't resist the Spirit when it moved. And they would offer sacrifice. <coughs> In the Old Testament, they would offer that sacrifice if it pleased God. Amen. The fire of God would fall and consume that sacrifice. I said, why don't we see the Amen. fire fall like that? Why don't, we, why don't we see God move like that? We had an offer to those sacrifices. Mm -hmm. I said, let us offer the sacrifices of praise. Yes, so sir. sacrifices God is well pleased. If God's not moving, if I'm not letting the Spirit move in my life, then I had offered enough sacrifice. That's right. Mm. Mm -hmm. I had offered enough sacrifice. Baby. If I'm not feeling the Spirit of God like I want to feel the Spirit of God, I'm not offering enough sacrifice. Amen. I'm not letting the Spirit move on me. Yes, sir. I've heard the old saying, you've heard it, and I probably said it, you probably said it from time to time. Sometimes we've got to pray till we can pray. Bless him, Lord. We've got to worship till we can worship. We've got to let God move on us. He said, I'll work. In one place in the scripture, he said, I'll work. Who will let it? That's what I'm talking to you about tonight. Letting the Spirit move you. Amen. Letting the Spirit move you. It moved upon the face of the earth. God said, The earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Yes, sir. The Spirit of God moved on them. Talking about Samson. The woman bare a son, he called his name Samson, and the child grew. And the Lord blessed him. Amen. And the Spirit of the Lord began to move on him at times in the camps of Dan between Zorah and Eshtar. May the Spirit of God move on him. Yes, sir. Praise God. Praise God. Get hungry enough for God that you'll let the Spirit of God move on you. Listen, we need men Thank you, and Jesus. women Thank and boys you, Jesus. and girls to let the Spirit of God move on us. Let the Spirit of God move on you. Amen. The key to revival is to let the Spirit of God move. Huh? The key to the outpouring that we're looking for is to let the Spirit of God move. You could be the one that sparked the revival. Yes, sir. Thank by you. By letting Jesus. the Spirit of Thank God you, move Jesus. on you. Mm -hmm. The old prophets of old were moved on. And they wrote and they spake as the Spirit of God moved on them. Amen. John said, and he carried me away in the Spirit. He carried me away in the Spirit. When's the last time you've been carried away in the Spirit? When's the last time you let the Spirit move upon you? Praise God. Now, could I tell you, there's a world out there that will zap your victory. Bless Him, Lord. There's a world out there that will take away your desire for the Spirit of God to move on you. Amen. There is a, there is a force out there. His name is Satan. Mm -hmm. There is a force out there that will draw you away. If you're not careful. If you don't let, every once in a while, let the Spirit of God move on you. Amen. To give you the strength and the joy that you need. Praise God. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Thank you, Jesus. When we let the Spirit move upon us, We know that 
God can use us. Mm. You want to be used of God, let the Spirit move on you. Amen. That's right. And ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Let the Spirit move on you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This world too much, those burdens too heavy, those troubles too many, let the Spirit move on you. Amen. Let the Spirit move on you. Yes, sir. There's a lot of things that I don't know. And there's a lot of things I can't do for you. But I know one that can. Amen. When you let the Spirit of God move on yes, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God can do more in just a few minutes of moving than we could do in a lifetime. Amen. When we let the Spirit move on us. That's right. Be careful. Be careful in these days, in these times that we're living in, that we don't let the wrong spirit draw us out. Uh -oh. Amen. Uh -oh. Yes, sir. How do you stay away from the wrong spirit? By letting the Spirit of God move on you. Amen. Letting God move mm -hmm. on you. Spirit of the Lord moved on Samson. He could do mighty things for God. Amen. But I tell you, you can do mighty things for God. Yes. When you let the Spirit move on you. That's all. Awesome.